Tango down. There's a sniper watching us. Look, don't worry about me. I need to switch my class anyway. Just go take a look around the map. I'm gonna kill the sniper and then come link up with you afterwards. Ooh, you think you're good, do you? You're lucky I'm only using the Maddie Mac 11. Give you a taste of my L96A1. See how you like an op to the face. Hopefully you're still up here. Where are you? Where are you? Ah, there you are. Boom! Headshot. Alright, now that that's taken care of, let's move on to the lesson. So today we're on the map Jungle. This map and Array are, in my opinion, the only truly long-range maps in this game. All the other maps are mid to short range maps. For this reason, I'll snipe on this map whenever I get a chance. This spot down here on the floor level, facing B, is pretty powerful. You can watch B and shoot the snipers on the top rock, which I'll show you in a bit. But what I really enjoy doing is working my way around to the left side to get to the main to the main bridge area. Always be careful though, because people will be waiting around this corner for you. Since I only have a sniper rifle in this position, you need to be careful. I would recommend picking up a secondary assault rifle if you kill someone or you find a dead body. Anything would be better than the handgun you have. Always watch out for that top little shelter. There are usually guys laying down prone on top of it. This bridge right here is one of my favorite spots in this entire map. But only from this position, facing C. When you're in this position, you can kill their entire team over and over. It's dangerous though because they will grenade you and they will flashbang you, so you have to be vigilant and know when to run back. But if you stick to this left side and aim down sight and kind of use this bamboo as a buffer between you and your enemies, you can usually shoot them without them even seeing you. Just like that. As they run, kind of strafe slowly to the right. If they ever do flashbang or grenade, I highly recommend using flashbangs and throwing them onto the bridge to slow down slow down their advances. This corner right here is nice if you wanna if you wanna hold it. It's not ideal to use a sniper rifle at this position. I would much rather use a assault rifle, but I love to have a sniper rifle to start off with and then kill someone and take their assault rifle because then that means you're just ready to go. I can clearly see where they are. And this is just beautiful. This is exactly where I want them. They're all spawning at C. If you have B and A captured on domination map, then they'll always be spawning here and you can just line them up. If you're not playing domination, it's just a regular team deathmatch or a free-for-all match. This spot is not as powerful, but in certain cases, you can dominate entire teams by holding this position. Now, on the other side of things, if you're on C and you're the side being dominated by this side, do not attempt to cross the bridge. It's a waste of time. You should go around the other way and try to capture A. Usually your teammates, though, will, will try to get smart and run up and capture C, but that's a foolish idea. You should never do that. You should never capture C on this map. I will repeat that again. On jungle, never capture C. Unless... That, it, that is, unless you are being completely dominated. Alright, so now on the opposite side of things, this is the other side of the map from where I spawned. If you spawn on this side, then if you're going to snipe, then this top part right here is a, is a good idea. Watch out for this right here. The way you got to run this top rock area is you have to watch your left and right. And if you're going to shoot this way, then you want to keep your back as close to the wall on your right, which is now right behind you, as close to your back as possible. That way that anyone from your right hand side or down near B or A will have a harder time shooting you and you're less 
you're less of a target. You don't stick out as much, but... If you actually nade right where I just naded there, if you throw a nade straight up, uh, mostly Semtex, then you can kill anyone standing in that spot. It's actually really great, and not a lot of people know about it. That's how I get a lot of kills when they're just sitting for me to and waiting for me to poke my head out. Because they'll literally just stand there, aiming their gun, waiting for you to poke your head out. Always keep an eye on that dark area right there. Because it only takes a sniper to poke his head out for one second to pick you off, so... I really enjoy using Scavenger on any map, but especially this map. It really shines on jungle because when I'm up here and I use my flashbangs and my my Semtex, which I do a lot, then any of my teammates who come up here and die, I can just pick up their equipment from them. And it's actually kind of funny because a lot of times your teammates will just run up and just die over and over. And if you can run this top area right, then you can stay alive and just pick up their scavenger packages. In this match, since I'm playing Domination, I have C and B taken. So my job right now is to pretty much protect B from being taken and hold off enemy enemy troops from advancing to my left. I'm trying to flank up to my flag. Remember, always check that back. Make it a habit to check that back dark area and then that rock. That dark area and that rock. Whenever you look to the right, those are the first two places you should look. People people might complain that this is considered camping, but if you're using a sniper rifle, this is probably what you should do. You probably wouldn't be running around in circles a, behind enemy lines. So Right now, you're providing overwatch for your entire team. When playing as a sniper, you should play as overwatch. See? Someone right there. Always check the dark entrance. You should, you should try to play Overwatch, and by Overwatch, I mean you should be calling out locations of enemies to your teammates if you don't have an SR-71 up like I do at this moment. You should be telling them what's going on. You should be calling out positions of enemy snipers. And you should be protecting avenues of approach and flags as best you can. That long, that long way I just looked, lots of men will be running down it to capture B, so from here, you can just clean up house. In terms of sniper rifles, I recommend the L96A1 because it is, in my opinion, the only sniper rifle worth using in this game. The, oh, the fact that you can put someone down in a single shot is the most important thing to me in a sniper rifle. If you see, they just keep running to this rock. This rock is where you see most of the action. But don't forget to check the dark entrance. Alright, so now we have an assault rifle class. We're going to talk about a little more mid-range action. When starting on the same side we just were at, if you run to the left, you'll encounter this barrel right here. This barrel gives surprisingly good cover, and the reason for that is because you're on a slight incline and the fact that if you just if you just strafe backwards while shooting you will pretty much be out of harm's way and this tree right here is impenetrable you can't shoot through it with bullets so from here if you aim straight back into that little hut right here you can get tons of kills I always run the same route I always run from that point to this point right here use that window to shoot and then I move to this broken down turret right here this broken down turret gives great cover. It doesn't take very much bullet penetration, and at the same time, it's kind of a weird looking object, so it's harder for an enemy's eye, eye to capture movement if you're standing there. It'll take them a second longer for them to realize you're standing next to it than if you were standing next to a tree or, or a box. And this point right here is where I move to from the turret. This point right here is very powerful. You can get a lot of kills because it literally points straight into their spawn and they'll be spawning in there, running around with their heads cut off. Alright, to review, snipers are lethal when used as overwatch in this match. Remember, if you're a sniper, you need to be watching the capture points if you're playing domination or objective matches. Snipers aren't always great for this map if you're playing...
free for all or team deathmatch, I would avoid it. But ground war, it's great. Remember, the side bridge is deadly if held facing the jeep base. Don't try to cross the bridge if someone is on the other side. They will kill you, I promise you. And remember, this is a long distance map. You gotta prepare yourself for long distance engagements and equip yourself accordingly. Sniper rifles, assault rifles. Something can hit your enemies from distance. This map is not about running around behind them and flanking them. This map is about holding long avenues of approach and having them come towards you as you gun them down. All right, and that's it for our lesson on jungle. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm your host, D. Keep your eyes peeled for more Tango Down lessons soon to come.